Okay, we're doing another screencast on how to um, load up your e-text for social studies. And this is from the student perspective. I have the student login here. So the first thing you want to do is you go here to Pearson and you're going to click on that. again. We are going to show you how to log in to your textbook from the student perspective. And you have to first go to your power school. This is the student's power school. On the left, you'll find Pearson courses. You click on it. and this should load up the classes. If you're looking for world history, you have it. So you click there, click there, and there are two types of logins. This is one type of login. We'll show you the other. Again, to show you how to get to your textbook, what you want to do is you want to go to My Work, and this will open up your assignments. And then you'll see a tab here that says eText. You click on the eTexts, here's your social studies book, you click on it, it says open a new window, you hit in the new window, and you wait for it to load. It might take a little while. I'm going to pause the video. Once you get to this screen, you're going to go ahead now. This is again, there are two ways to do this. This is for one setup, and I don't know why some set up differently. What you want to do is you're going to hit the table of contents. Click right there, and you wait, and the table of contents opens up. On the left, you'll find your topics. The topic that we're working on right now is topic three. So, but it'll change through the year. You click on the topic that you're working on, and this will open up the question. Right here is the beginning of the question. Now, yesterday in class, we worked on a chart, and I'm navigating by hitting the arrow right here, and I'm trying to find the chart. And all you want to do is you just click to so get to the page that you want to open. You can see here that it has the um, the voiceover, so you can have it read to you. And this is the chart that we worked with yesterday. That is how you open up your e-text in one method. We're going to show you how you do it with a different type of textbook in a second. So I'm pausing the video, and it should resume in a moment. Okay, I'm, I'm back here. Uh, I logged into the other type of format now. How I did this, I did the same thing. I went to a student's uh, screen, and I hit Pearson Courses. That brought me to this login screen, and I hit Savvis Realize. Make sure you activate this, and then hit this if you need to. And then you go to the main screen. So there are two versions of the textbook. If you want to open up an assignment or read your e-text, this is the best way to do it. You hit Classes, and you, if you have an assignment, it'll show up here. Nothing's been assigned yet to this student, but that will be changing today and you can see the text right here. You click on it, the same process. You open a new window, you wait for it to open, and it loads. Sometimes it loads fast, sometimes it loads slow. That's why you need to open up your text right away when you get to class. It's a little different to navigate. You go to the menu, and you're going to hit Table of Contents, and then you're going to go ahead and go to the section that's assigned and you're going to navigate using this button on the right, right where I am right here. You just hit next and you get to the point where you want to be. You get to the page you want to be. We're not quite there yet. We keep navigating and it's a little bit of a, um, it's not the fastest way, but it's, it'll work. And it has the same features as the other uh, textbook. And we're just going to navigate until we get to the screen that we used yesterday, and it's shown right here. So that's basically how you open up your textbook, both versions. So there is no excuse. If you get stuck, you need to do this. The key is if you get that screen where it says you're already signed in, you need to 
close out of your windows, clear your history, and start again. It can be annoying, but hopefully uh, this will get you into the habit of clearing out your cache, which will make your internet go a lot faster. Have a great day.